Hello YouTube, OB Gaming here, and welcome back to Brick Rigs, and today we are going to be playing with creations for Christmas. Also, there's a little creation that I want to do that, like, I'll show probably in this episode, and then probably in another one for the Christmas season, because season of Christmas is just awesome. So anyways, I also want to, um, put on some, like, snow effect, which I'll do for the, the, the last... Or like the creation I want to show. Basically, I'm just trying to show a really cool creation that really fits the holidays, which I thought of this idea like way before it started being December. So honestly, I just thought it was kind of nice to try something else to try something out. So there's like a trench map that I have in the uh, in the section here, which honestly is kind of awesome. There's also some other things I have, like a drone for some reason has a banana on it. Anyways, there's some vehicles from World War One that I have, but I also want to test out the World War One creations in general. So we're gonna do World War One. Do all and for some reason in my wait a minute. Okay, that's weird. That's like the only ones I have selected as World War One. But they have the uh actually I wanna test this out because like I wanna test this vehicle out on like a trench or something, but because if you guys don't know what this is, this is the British land ship, which, oh my god. Which, okay, this thing is, <laughs> I forgot how slow this vehicle is, but it's still awesome. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bookmark that for later. It's it's still pretty cool. They also have the Germ German Empire flag, but they also have the, I think, actually, I think this, <laughs> ebay.com, char, I think it's called char, 2C, chart 2C. I have no idea if that's trying to say something inappropriate with the 2 and the C. I have no idea. Actually, I think this might be a German vehicle. I'm not sure. It might be. Or a French. I don't know. Wait a minute. This is either maybe a French vehicle or a, um, a, uh, isn't this French? What is this vehicle? I don't know if they have a description. Also, they have this land ship as well. Which I'll play with this one. Later, I'm gonna try and see what I think. This maybe I remember a friend, the French having their their tanks for World War One were similar to the ones that we have today. So this may be a French one or a German. Um. Uh. Okay. So I don't. It doesn't say here. Also, wait a minute. This was created around this year, but it was created in September. I, okay, that probably explains something. Some of these vehicles look like they were made a long time. Made a long time ago, but honestly, some of them look like they were made this year. Oh, this one was made in 2022. That's that's crazy. So, in July, what about this one? When was this one created? Oh, in January of this year. What do you know? And this year is, uh, for me, it's... Uh, for the, At the time of this recording, it's 2024. But it may be a, di a different... It may be a different time of year around the world. Also, what is this called? Oh, it's the, the, uh, tank. Oh, it's the tank of air. I remember this gun. This gun was actually a pretty cool weapon back then. It was, like, the first, it was the first ever, like, anti-tank gun. The problem with this gun, I feel like, if I remember correctly, what the problem with it was, was the fact that it would, it's literally got, like, a pistol grip, and this thing was so strong that it literally would break the user's shoulder like I think, like after five or like three, sh five or three shots of of these rounds, which these rounds right here, you see right right there, these rounds are supposed to be fifty BMG, which that's the round they used to stop the stop the land ship before it had before they upgraded it with bare armor, which this thing was literally instead of named like an anti tank rifle, which it was named the uh, tank of air, which this one doesn't seem to shoot. And I'm curious to know if it actually... I don't think it actually does now. Also, wait a minute. I should be wearing something... I should be wearing clothes that actually depict the soldiers. So I should be wearing, like, a, a green or something. Here, you know what? I'm gonna wear, like, an olive green because that's the type of ones they uh, wore back then. Like the olive green. I'm gonna, like, basically use a... Uh, what am I gonna use as a uh, modern-day weapon? So I didn't have anti-tank weapons like rocket launchers back then. But they did have silencers, but I'm not going to add that in here. But I am going to, like, add a, uh, a machine, a, a machine gun, or not a machine gun, a rifle, and then a pistol. 
and then I'm just gonna add in the scope. Because they used scopes back then. They did have grenades, but I don't think they, uh, I think the ones were just smoke tear gas grenades. I don't think they were, uh, I don't, I don't think, well, they had frag grenades, smoke grenades, and that's about it. Like, there wasn't really that much you could really, uh, like, do with certain grenades. There wasn't that, there weren't that many types yet. Also, this thing is just useless. I mean, it's not useless. It's a cool creation. I just wish it fired. Wait a minute. Can I knock over the rounds? Or, no, that was already there. I think these are mounted to the floor. Hold on, there was another version, though, but I'm kind of curious to know if, like, if this one actually... Like, if you guys saw in the workshop right, right around it, where was it at? They have the tank of air, and then they have, like, another tank of air version. I think it was this one was the the other, the one to the uh, uh, other gun, so I'm gonna... Um, spawning vehicle. I don't even know if this actually, like... Oh my god! This thing actually... Oh my god, this thing shoots. I think that, I think this is, like, upgraded version, because, like, I see, like, they have, a Yeah, they have more r r rifle rounds. Well, the more 50 BMG rounds. Also, what does that say? Hold a minute. I swear, if it actually... I don't even know if this says anything in German. Made by... I don't even know... Okay, have fun. Okay. This dude is, like, I don't know if that's, like, I don't know, this dude must have done his research, because, honestly, this is pretty impressive. So where's the seat? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Wait, the character suit's so weird in the seat. Oh my god, that is so funny. So he actually, like, I think this is, like, a weird type of seat in the game, because my character is, like, literally, like, he looks like he's crouched down or something. It's kind of fun. Wait a minute! Hey, you can see the grenades now? Hold on, let me, let me jump, let me hit E. Let me, uh, fan out. I'm gonna see. Do they- Can you actually see the grenades now? Are they inside his torso? Oh, they're inside the torso! That's where the grenades are. That makes sense. Also, that explains why I was able to see him now. Like, put in the person. I think it's kind of like to- I don't know if that's to represent something. I don't know. On, like, the side, that would have been nice. Like, I really wish they would have done something, like, on the side for a pistol. Not for, like, the chest, because that, that, I feel like that's a little weird. Also, wait a minute. <sighs> okay. But I am curious, can this thing actually, like, what type of, well, I don't know if there's 50 BMG in the game, but I am curious to know, is there actual, uh, firing? I don't even know if that thing fires. I know these tanks had, like, tools on the back, like, on the top here, like, up here they had tools? Oh, there's a patch here. I think it was, like, there's some sort of hatches on these things, but I am curious to know how good it, these armies were, like, just for the fun of it. But I do want to see if I can uh, find a, uh, I don't know if I can find a, uh, I think I had, like, a German bunker, but it was, like, based off of, like, World War II. I don't really know exactly. I don't even remember if I had a, uh, Panzer, like, uh, like, no, the Panzer didn't exist yet. It was, uh, something made by a department. Also, they have, like, a machine, what is this, a Maxim Heavy Machine Gun. I want to test this out. Why does my character sit like that? That is so weird. Hold on, if I hit page up and down, does he move? Okay, he doesn't. That's weird. But I do want to see... Huh? Oh, this thing is actually kind of cool. Wait, is this thing out of ammo? Oh my god, it dumps through like... Yeah, it just goes, it stops at 180, and then, and then it refills itself with ammo. That's, that's kind of cool. Honestly, it's a Matsum Light, a Matsum Light machine gun, so, what do you expect? I mean, it's not like the, I, I can't remember, was it the Lewis gun? I can't remember the Lewis gun came, I think, I, I think the Lewis gun is the one the, uh, British used. Like, and it, it's, I can't remember, I think this is, oh, what is this one? Oh, this is Austria-Hungary. This is Austria, but it was made in Austria. It was made. It was made in Austria-Hungary, but it's like just this Austrian submachine gun. That's not gonna lie. That's kind of inaccurate because actually it, it was made in Austria-Hungary because it was made by the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Sorry to point that out for anyone who's a history nerd. Well, it was made in the country of Austria, just not in the. Uh, but it was mainly the Austro-Hungarian Empire, but I don't know. 
I mean, put your votes down in the comments. Is it Austro-Hungarian Empire or is it just Austria? Austria. It says Austrian submachine gun, which you guys can't see, but it says that. Like, I'll actually prove it. Boom. Austrian submachine gun. There you go. You have it. And for some reason, it's not loading in. I don't understand that. Here, let me just remove this. Because I think it takes up a lot of parts. Come on. Um, I don't even know why it's not doing it. I don't even... One minute. I'm just afraid my game's gonna crash. Okay. It didn't load in for me for some reason. Actually, you know what? Wait a minute. Don't tell me it just spawned inside this vehicle. Maybe it was... Okay, that's kind of weird. I have no idea how that works. But, um... Anyways, guys. I do actually want to show you something before this video kind of, like, almost ends. I get we're just... I'm just farting around with creations. But I do want to show you guys something. So, I'm going to show you a little World War I uh, trench that I have. Like a little trench build. That was based off of World War I. It's like a little, like, trench, but the, uh, here, where is it at? I have it somewhere in here. The, uh, oh, where is it at? Little trench. Aha! So this was the, um, this is the treat, well, not the, it was the Christmas Treaty is what I think, if I remember correctly, it was called the Christmas Treaty, and this was during the time of 1914 where, Two sides were, um, were the two sides. Like, it was, like, the British, Belgium, and the French. But then you had the, like, those were the Allied powers. The, uh, the Germans and the Hungar Austro-Hungarians, basically, they were the Axis powers. Allies were, like I said, British, French, Belgium. And then Axis powers were Austria, Hungary, and, uh, Germany. Which... I don't know if there was any, uh, like, Bulgarians involved or any Turkish. I don't know about that one. But I knew it was on, like, the French line. So there's got to be some sort of indication of a, uh, what, is, what the heck? This looks like a, looks like a pipe or something. Um, trying to find any indication of whose trench this is. I don't know who exactly which trench this is. Oh, here's the German side. Which, for some reason, you can move their marker. Which is kind of funny. Also, it's the spawning area where you spawn in the vehicle, or the creation, so it's kind of cool. Plus, the trench, like, the, the Germans came out of the trench with their hands up to show that they didn't mean any harm. Like, they didn't even have, I'll say this, they didn't even have rifles on them. And then the British and the French and Belgium, they were all, like, all the soldiers from eat, from all those three countries. Sorry for that. Also, it's just as British trench, but there was way more than just the British. The British, I think, were, like, the big ones, and so were, so were the French, but Belgium kind of held their line, line as well. So you have, like, here you have, like, these guys, but these are supposed to represent the Brick Riggs Armed Forces. The Germans represent the Desert Worms, like, in this, in this trench build. That's not what they were actually called, by the way. It's just, I'm just saying this for the game, like, because the game has something, like, the army factions called One's Desert Worms because they're out in the desert. Then you have the Brick Riggs Armed Forces. It's a whole mess. But I will say, though, this is pretty impressive to represent the uh, time of um, Christmas back in 1914. And I do like the little snowman. That's kind of cute. Actually, it's really cute. The problem is, is that I think it detonates. I think it was a bomb in that thing. Also, I just want to show you guys how big this is compared to my character. Here is how big my character is. Like, on the uh, trench build, like, alone, like, on this trench. But, like, when you see how big it is compared to my character, like, this is pretty big. This is a big creation. Like, right there. Like, I don't know if you can see him moving around here. I'm gonna try and get him to move, if I can. Yeah. There he is. He's moving right near the snowman. Like, look at it. Like, right there. Like, hold on. Let me, let me zoom in. Like, right there. There's my character. Which, I don't know, just show you guys again, just for perspective. Like, yeah, that's... And here's the entire thing. 
Like, that's, this is big. Especially on my monitor, this is huge. So, technically, you can see how good of this... This build took a, a lot of good time, I believe, for the creator, so... Oh, cute snowman. Cute little snowman. I also don't understand what these guardrails are supposed to be. Please don't be a bomb. Ow! What the heck? Like, excuse me, like, what the heck happened? Oh, god, now I have, like, two speed- hold on. Was that a gun? Like, was that a gun? Like, I'm so confused. Was that a gun in the snowman? Because it just <coughs> shot me, and then- I man, I would. Like, because that's just ridiculous. Did it, did it actually, like, like, is there, like, a bomb detonate? Oh, a minute. Uh, oh, there must have been a gun here where I was standing, and all of a sudden I clicked that and it killed me. Wait, is there actually a gun in this thing? Wait, hold on, where's the gun at? Oh, a minute. Let me look down, down a little bit further. Um, I know there was, like, a gun, because where I stepped, there was, like, a gun that shot me. Wait a minute. I don't, I don't see it. Like, I was, wait a minute. Wait, oh, was that just my, was I just looking at my rifle because I buried it in the ground? That was kind of weird. Um, anyway. Yeah, that, either that's a gun or something else. There may be a gun in here, in the snowman. I'm just pointing fingers at the snowman now because that's where I was when I got shot. Okay, I'm gonna, like, try to respawn the creation and see if that's actually, like, a, um, a, uh, you know, a gun. Here. Okay. Okay, you know what? It's not this. Also, I will show this again, but in snow form, like, later in a new, in, a ne in the next video. By the way, because I just wanted to, it's been like 20 minutes already, like I said. But I do want to just see for one last time, see if that's actually what happens in the snowman, or if it just like randomly like... Oh, there's a bomb in it! I thought it was a gun! There's an explosive in it! That's, that's just rude. That's, that's just so rude. Anyways, guys, that's gonna wrap up for this episode. I'll see you guys next time.